Hello folks, Farmer Envoy here, and today we're going to be looking at all the new monsters dropped today on the 26th of November, 2024. And we do have some bangers, including some mob packs, some nice tractors by Car Farms, and many more. As always, time starts to be down below. But first of all, we're going to start off with the open garage. This is by Mafokri, Mafokri, sorry. It is 4.85 megabytes to download. Slot count is 9 goes down to 1. You can see it's a large shed we've got here. And yeah, so you can find it unobtainable under sheds. And right at the end, it's going to see it right here. So 306,500 initially to put down. And we do have some customized, customizable items. So press R3. We do have sewer panels. And it's saying 281 grand extra. However, I'll go and place that down. So, here, yeah, see on right, 587,000. So, yeah, not to the great start with like extraordinary amount of money. Especially with intestine, these sort of panels, you do not get any income from it. And also, you do have some color options. So, if we go down here, change the colors. So, we've got a couple of color options. And what I'll do is I'll change the walls and all of that. So yeah, it's a decorative sewer panel we've got as an option. And yeah, personally for 500 grand, unless you got loaded with money, yeah, I would avoid that personally. But you may as well have a little look, so we do have some lights. Thankfully, so yeah, lights on and off. So yeah, just showing it with the help window open, turn the lights on and off. So yeah, overall, it's a nice shed. It is a bit of a steep price at 300 grand initially. Especially with the solar panels costing an extra 200 grand. Yeah, that is a bit off point for me personally. But overall, nice quality mod. Nice detail, nice woodwork. Especially with the paneling as well, it is absolutely nicely done. No more clippings or anything like that. By me, so that is the open garage by Mafokri. Next. Now for something a little bit interesting, we've got the Mineral Excavator by MA7 Studio. It is 33.37 megabits to download. Slot count is 7 goes down to 1. And what we've got here essentially is a Mineral Silo, but it's a bit of a unique one. So, first of all, you can find this under buildings, under silos. Go down to the bottom, and there you go. So yeah, there's no customizations whatsoever. And yeah, what you can do is just place it down wherever. You don't need a cow barn to place it, so if I move away from the cow barn, as you can see, we can place it down anywhere we want. So as we skip ahead, I have got some manure already in, so 10,000 liters. So I'm going to hop into our McCormick. Because I do have a little bit of something whilst I was testing this, and this acts like a silo, but it is a bit of a weird one, so obviously, there we go, under the trigger, so press L3, and as you see, get our manure out. Fortunately, there's no like animation, but maybe something down the road that could possibly change. Also, if we unload it, this will act like a silo. However, just be careful with how you are unloading because, as you can see here, if we just go out a little bit, I may have noticed it when we first started this because I did test this. So, yeah, you do have a bit of spillage of manure on the sides. However, look at the bottom right, that's gone up to 20,000 litres. So, if you're taking manure out, you can put manure back in. Even though it won't stack it in the way how it was originally. Also, I forgot to mention, it is... Yeah, 7 slots on console, 400,000 litre capacity, and costing only 8 grand, so... We compare that to the base game in your heap. Yeah, okay, you don't have the 4 million litre capacity, I'll admit. But what you do have is that flexibility in rotation, so... Actually, you can have a manure silo that can actually be properly rotated, so... Not locked into a fixed 90 degree rotation, so 
Overall, nice quality mod. But anyways, that is the Manure Excavator by ME7 Studio. Next. Now for something a bit interesting, we got the Flower Crusher by ME7 Studio. This is 16.7 megabytes to download, 11 slots on console, and what it says it's a flower production, but with also the bonus ability to produce mineral feet at a budget recipe. So, before we go into the recipes and all that other good stuff, go find this under your factories, go right down to the bottom, and yeah, this thing I do like with the build mode is. It skips to the next page, so anyways, at the bottom, 36 grand. I get free placement as you want. So yeah, this is a flour mill. However, one thing I've noticed is as you can see here, we've got a tipper icon up into this little open silo that's being used as a input. That's because you cannot unload it with a trader. To load this up, you'll need to get your grains or soybeans, whatever, and then go over and then just tip it in like so. Bob's your uncle. So, yeah, I've got to load that down. Come out of here because I go to the back of here because I have the trigger for it. So, as you can see here, we can produce barley flour, oat flour, rice flour, sorghum flour, and wheat flour. Obviously, they'll come up as flour, rice flour, or mineral feet in terms of the actual outgoing products. So, yeah, mineral feet. So, I'm going to focus on this one first of all. And this just requires barley, corn, and soybeans. It is a 7 to 5 ratio, 252 cycles per month. So, overall, you can get about just, like, just over 1,250 litres of mineral feet. So, it is a small production, and it is a small version of the grain mill, essentially, the flour mill. And in just in comparison, I have got the base game small flour mill. I look at the recipes, these are exactly the same. So, 30 to 22, 15 15, 15 13, and so on. I have to go across, go down, so 30 to 22, 15 15. And cycles. So if we have a look, so barley flour that is 48 cycles per month. 48, 120, 72, 72, 120. So yeah, this is exactly the same recipe as the base game version. However, you got the bonus of having mineral feet. And also in terms of price, that is 36 grand. And the base game one is 36 grand. So you're not getting any bonuses. Yeah, downside is the got to tip it in with an actual bucket. You can't just, you know, dump it onto the ground. That depends on how you prefer to look at it. So, there's options for something like conveyor belts. So, if you go to our conveyors, so, something like this, you know, just place it next to the silo here, and once you come on with your trailer, you can just simply offload into the area. As you can see, you've got the patch spawn area just over here, a capacity of 2. But anyway, so overall, a nice quality mod, nice quality production facility, and one of, one of, if not the first productions in FS25. But anyways, that is the Flower Crusher by M7 Studio. Next. Now for the Okroma King 300. This is a cultivator by SY Modern Team. It is 14.42 megabytes to download. Slot count is 9, comes down to 1. So yeah, first of all, go find this under your vehicle, under your tools, shops, and go to your cultivator. And there we go, Opera King 300. So this will cost you 21 grand, requires 130 to 200 horsepower, depending on your configuration. Actually, it says no, 130 to 200 horsepower. So, I'm assuming that means you know, we're doing hilly terrain stuff. So, if you're doing hilly terrain, look on this map, Hunt and Pantai, you'll need something a bit more powerful. But yeah, so configurations whatsoever. So, poor choice on that bit. But yeah, 12 grand, one weighs 1 1.5 tons, 
a free mirror call vigor at 10 miles an hour. So finally, we've got a free mirror, free mirror call vigor in the FS25. And comparing that to the base game at free mirrors at 9 miles an hour, costs 16 grand. Similar horsepower requirements. So yeah, overall, not too bad. So what I'm going to do is hook this up to our Massey. Yeah, I've got a nice little field just across over here, just to demonstrate the cultivation. So, we do have an option to fold and unfold the cultivator. That's folding the rollers and that up. Also, it's got the uh, road marker, road guidelines, whatever it's called. See, so, yeah, anyways, unfold. I'll say, love the animation. Yeah, maybe a free mirror cultivator. But the level of detail in this is absolute bang on. But anyway, so we'll go and drop this down. And there we go. See, we are cultivating. Also, we do have control for press R1, right stick left to right. Is that not tractor no, it's not the tractor see so yeah, r1 ah right so r1 right stick left to right just sat and l1 right stick left to right adjust the actual rollers on the back so that is a nice touch so glue your cultivator and then sink it to the ground and there we go you get that rolling effect in the back it doesn't do anything in terms with a rolling kind of state. So yeah, if I raise that up, cultivate. So you have a little look, so yeah, it doesn't really give a roll state or anything like that. But I gotta say, I love the animations, just a little fine touches to it. And yeah, I am using the upper end horsepower over here, so 210 horsepower, so I was going to say, it's probably not too bad, not too shabby at all, so, yeah, we can see, a good quality mod. Right, so let's go and race that up. But anyways, that is the Okrama King 300 by SMI1 Team. Next. Now for the Horizonte Mixed Rev Series, this is by SMI1 Team. It is 11.51 megabytes to download, 5 slots on console. And uh, what we've got here is a motor that is 1.6 to 2 meters wide, depending on your configuration. So, if we go to our soil cultivation, motors, go down to the bottom. So, base price is 6.5 grand. And it says 80 to 100 horsepower, depending on what the configuration is. So, we'll go over that in a bit more detail. Weighs 540 kilograms and does it at 7 miles an hour. So, we have a look, so we've got the 1.6 meter version, so it says 80 horsepower is required. And then, yeah, we can go up to the 2 meter one, that will say a 100 horsepower requirement. 90 for the 180 or 1.8 meter. So, yeah, three different options. So, yeah, something like this can be typically used for vineyard stuff. Or just a very small farm, so I don't have a vine set up ready and harvested, so Oh, there we go. Just get that hooked up. And then yeah, just go to the field, drop it down, turn on the mulcher, no other controls to be seen. And there we go, we are mulching. So yeah, so I feel like this, you'll use it realistically in a vineyard, but hey, some say you can use this on a small farm. Yeah, I've got a very large tractor here, but something like, so it says 80 to 100 horsepower. Or it says actually on Mod Hub, it says ideal for 40 to 80 horsepower, so 80 is recommended. So literally anything base game would do the job just good. Particularly with vineyard stuff, so things like the Landini that is 70 to 112 horsepower, so you can do the 2 meter one with this. 
Yeah, I think a two meter wide to working with is going to be a bit too big for the vineyards and that. But yeah, definitely 1.6 meters shouldn't have an issue with it. Even 1.8. Obviously, if you get a different variable working width down the road for the vineyards, that's going to be another mod. Then, yeah, the two meter one can be used, but as it is base game at the moment, yeah, definitely go with the small one, I would say, out of the three options. But, anyways, that is the Horizonte Mixed Rev Series by SMI Modern Team. Next. Now for the Gutler Matador 610S. This is by Vertex Design. 16.14 megabytes to download, and this is a return mod from FS22. And what we've got here is a roller, 6 meter roller, and this is an awesome bit of equipment I've used plenty of times on FS22. And for the price, for the work width, and horsepower requirement, I'm going to be using this quite often in FS25. So find this under rollers and towards the end so here we go 15 grand 80 horsepower requirements weighs 3.4 tons 6 meters at 9 miles an hour and compared to the base game suppose we got it's a 12 meter one that requires 120 horsepower at 7 miles an hour so you get the job done a bit quicker and for a further price in terms of your configurations you got a roller and a grass roller so the difference is the roller is what you use when you're after during your crop, so I'm going to demonstrate that now. But the grass roller is once you cut your grass and you want to get that yield bonus for your next harvest, that's what you'd be using. So yeah, I'm going to use this as a roller initially, so hop into our little massy here. Get this hooked up at the rear. Yeah, it does help when you actually have the correct thing turned around, so... What I've got here is a little section here I've drilled in preparation, so in terms of what controls we've got, we've got folding, so we can fold the roller. So when you're going down the roads, you fold it up and it fits perfectly within the width base of your typical tractor you'll be using at this range. So for that, you've got lower that is L1 and circle, so let's go and drop this down. And there we go, we are rolling. See, we get a nice rolling texture. Does the job perfectly well. At six meters wide, requiring just 80 horsepower, you can get away with using this on pretty much small tractors. So if you use this on like small tractors, so like these kind of tractors here, I do recommend using a front weight, obviously. The Massey here does have a small weight as a configuration on it, so helps with transportation, helps with maneuverability, and just has a good balance when using a weight with most equipment in FS25. But anyways, that is the Gordner Matador 610S by Vertex Design. Next. Now for the Converting Coil Disc Pro 6001T. This is by Giant Software, and this is 12.62 megabits to download, 8 slots on console. And what we've got here for you today, folks, it's a 6 meter wide disc harrow. So you'll find this under disc harrows category. Go down to the bottom, 72 grand, requires 190 horsepower. And yet, yeah, 8 slots on console, goes down to 1. 6 meters wide at 11 miles an hour. Turns with configurations, anything you've got is the wheel brand. So yeah, you've got Trailborg, BKT, Versteins, and that is it. So first line will give you the base price. If you're using Treadborg Whites or BKT Whites, I will have an additional option cost of £250 dollars or Euros. And in terms of its equivalent to what we've got base game, so 6 beers, 11 miles an hour at 72 grand. So yeah, we're really looking at, really, have a look. Either the Dalbo Power Chain 800 or the... More of a fair comparison is the Verstad Carrier XL. Similar price range. Slightly more of a work width, slightly less horsepower, oh sorry, a lot more horsepower requirement. Slightly more working speed. And compare that to the power chain, that may be a slightly better option at 8 meters at 11 miles an hour. So, at the end of the day, it depends on what you prefer to go with. The Dabo does have the option to have a pseudo unit for grass and aussie radish but anyways just thought to give you some options in comparison to what we've got base game 
Now let's go and demonstrate this. So let's go and hook this up. So you've got an option to fold, unfold, and lower your disc arrow. Do like the animation. Also, you do have lights in the heroes on the rear. So yeah, let's go and unfold this and lower as we head into our field over here. And go forward for future mod reviews. I'm going to be doing this a lot more efficiently. So just uh, have a little note on that. I uh, didn't mean to do that on our rice paddy. But anywho, as you see, we are cultivating at the rear. I've got to say, the whole textures and all that in FS25 is absolutely beautiful, and this just demonstrates it perfectly. But as you can see, once you get to the work, you do raise that rear end wheel, so loose wheels on the back is just so you can help with transport, so lower and raise, fold it up, and there we go. Besides from that, not much to say, also a little cultivator, disc arrow. But anyways, that is the Coverland Coitus 6... Oh, sorry, Coverland Coitus Pro 6001T by Giant Software. Now for the John Deere T560 pack. This is by Giant Software. It is 51.36 megabytes to download. Slot count is 18 slots for the harvester, 7 slots for the grain header, and 4 slots for the corn header. So this is a pack of free items. So first of all, the harvester you can find is under your harvesters. Go down to the bottom, T560, starting price at 285 grand. 10,000 capacity weighs 15.8 tons. As I mentioned, 18 slots goes down to 1. 387 horsepower, 800 years of fuel capacity, and a traveling speed of 24 miles an hour. In terms of configurations, you've got your trailer board, standards, wides, and crawl tracks. So to show that off. And yeah, we've got a similar thing with Michelin, so the difference is really going to be more with the wheel on the back. Continentals, BKTs, I do the BKTs because they do provide the most grip in FS. And then Verstein, Mitas, Nokian, that's just the crew track. And back to Trelleborg. And for your corn and grain header, so first of all on the grain headers, go down to the bottom, so 43 grand. 7.6 meter working width at 6 miles an hour weighs 2.5 tons. I could do your just basic grain headers. So, yeah, let's just go over that a sec. So, no configurations whatsoever. And then on to your corn headers. Got the 608C, 6 meters at 6 miles an hour. And if you look at the base game, what we've got, yeah, the only thing we've got in comparison is the Capello Diamond. But apart from that, that is it, and even with the Capello, that, yeah, folds, but it doesn't have that John Deere green baby, so let's go and demonstrate both of these first of all, so in cab, beeps when you turn it on, ooh, I like that, ooh, a little beeping, so you've got your short off enabled on all that, ooh, ooh, <laughs> that is nice. I was like wondering that, so yeah, got your pipe out, no raise and the header, no other controls. So yeah, ain't gonna need to swap him because we'll be harvesting corn, so let's demonstrate this. And I gotta say, engine noise, not too bad. Nice little displays there on the right. So yeah, let's go over our partially chaffed cornfield, so Let's go and lower this. It helps you if you actually unfold the harvester. So that unfolds the hopper, opens the ladder on the left, and turn it on. And we are harvesting. And I've got to say, does the job very good. Now for AI. So AI will do its thing, so. Let's go and configure it so AI worker. So yeah, the AI system in FS25 is gonna do its own thing. But I gotta say it does the job very good. So it's so gonna go to a predetermined point in this coding or however it's working, so alright, fair enough. It's gonna do this first of all, fair enough. 
receiving a what's that? A silver texture on the bottom. Oh yeah, we had that when we was harvesting the corn over there. So yeah, that is that. Doesn't a good job. So now into the normal harvester. So we do have controls for the header now. So we go out the lower first of all. So L1, right stick, left to right. We'll bring the header forward and back. And then up and down, L1, right stick, up and down, does that. Plus from that, there's no other controls. So yeah, let's go and head to our, I think this is our canoe field I've got stuff over here, so drops down. And instantly when you're harvested, they will open that little uh, shoot there on the back. Also, you can do straw from this, so what I'm going to do is take, his, take this over to our... Oh, wait a minute. That changed. Interesting. Do you not notice that red bit there first of all? Yeah, interesting. So, alright, interestingly, what are you doing the canola that has that red bit attacher at the bottom and so yeah let me just go and dump this a sec so so yeah unload here please because yeah I would see that again so Ford Sorghum yeah does nothing fair enough which I expected so let's keep the pipe out drop yeah drop it out and then yeah, I'll see this again, because, yeah, first time I didn't actually notice it, so... Go and drop the header. And to the point where it detects the canola. There we go. Ah, alright, fair enough. Interestingly. It, ooh, what's that weird glitching texture in the back? But yeah, i got to say, that is a nice hidden feature that I did not expect. Fair, I have not harvested canola in FS25, so I'm not sure if this is a base game thing, but I've got to say, that is an interesting feature I did not know about. But anyways, that is the John Deere T560 pack by Giant Software. Next. Now for the Aco Ideal Pack, this is by Giant Software. It is a pack and 72.79 megabits to download. Slot counts is 20 for the harvesters and 9 for the headers. And what this contains is four different combine harvesters. So we've got Fent and a Massive Ferguson branded version of the Ideal, as well as the Ideal Power Level. So these sort of self leveling while you're harvesting. And these do come with their comparison headers. So also we've got six headers. So very from 30, 40, and a 40 foot flex. So yeah, the 30, 30 and 40 footers are the non flexible versions. And then we also have a 40 foot flexi version. So the Dynaflex would be to go with the ideal power level versions. In terms with horsepower, these vary from 451 to 790, depending on what you're going with. So let's start off with the ideal power level. So yeah, we've got the ideal 7PL, 8PL, and 9PL. So 9PL is 647 horsepower. 538 horsepower for the 8PL and 451 for the 7PL. And you got different brands, wide standards. And that is it as far as I can gather. And on to the ideal. Also, you got the 10T version, that is the 79 horsepower. And these do come with the cruel tracks and the power levels. Yeah, they do do not contain the. I will say other tracks. It's just the tracks comes with the non-power level versions. So yes, configurations are pretty much safe for across the brand. And for the foot footers, you got different configurations for the design. I've go to the Dynaflex version. Yeah, that is pretty much standard. No configurations. And yeah, so what I'm going to do is test a couple of these off, so... So yeah, this is the float first, so I'm going to test the non 
power level version, and then we'll go across to the power level version, so... I'll go across here to our sword, no, sorry, our canoe field first of all, so... Unfold the harvester, mine that power line. And yeah, so when we lower the header, press L1, do you have some control? So L1 right stick up and down, zoom in a bit. Now raise and lower that, the header. And then L1 right stick left to right brings the spool in and out, so... Let's go and harvest the canoe now. And I'll say, the animations are really nice, especially with the header. Oh, shoots into the hopper. And in cap, it is pretty much business as usual. Yep, no glitches in the mirror, so no glitching textures in the mirror. If I go to... I'll find a power level version, so... That's going to be these ones here, so... Sorry, yeah, I got the power level version with the Dynaflex header. And yeah, so what this would mean is, as far as I can gather from FS22, is so when you're harvesting, it has a. It sort of like self balances itself out. And just makes it harvesting a hell of a lot smoother in general. In real life, it'd be something like a active suspension in a way, so everything's all computer controlled, so. Let's go and unfold this. And start harvesting. So, alright, so... Here we go. Minor correction error, apologies there. So, yeah, as we move on to the canoe, though, so when you're harvesting, it will have a basically it will self balance itself out, work itself out. And you sort of see in a way when the cab is moving, it sort of all just balance itself out. If I go over to this one over here, yeah, you sort of, sort of see it's not as self loving it sort of is, it has just a flexible suspension. That's my best way to sum it up in that, is just really in terms with what's notable difference you'll perhaps notice for most people is, yeah, just not a real difference, but it's nice to have that power level version in FS25. So I think that was missing initially on launch, but I'm glad Giants has converted this over and made it as a mod. So, anyways, that is the Echo Ideal Pack by Giant Software. Also a pack, nice to see this being converted over from FS22. And now on to our tractors and utility vehicle. So before we go into our tractors, we'll be looking at the John Deere XUV 865M. This is by Giant Software, it is 13.49 megabits download. 12 slots on console, and this is under cars and bikes, and is a basically a utility 4x4. So, base game, we've got things like the Kaboom stuff. But one thing that was base game in FS22 that has now been converted over as a mod is this. So, this was heavily used a lot in FS22. And yeah, getting that weird orb effect. So, let's quickly clear that up. Again, why that always pops up, I do not know. So yeah, anyways, under cars and bikes, it's pretty six grand. So it's got 31 miles an hour, 31 miles an hour speed, 42 litres of fuel, 23 horsepower. And it does have a small capacity of 460 litres and also has a winch system that can support up to 1.6 tonnes. So the configuration is standard and they also have an option for a three point attacher on the rear. Still got your bumper pull there at the back, that just sort of extends it out a touch. And at the front, so at the front we got the front guard, yes or no. So yeah, we come in, it does give you that as a automatic add-on option, but if you want to take that off, then you can. That will add 500 bucks, and for the three point attachment, I'll add an additional 1,600 cost to it. So yeah, let's hop into here a sec, so... Turn it on, so it does have tension straps on the back, so you can transport bells and pallets if you wish. Or one, right stick up and down, does that to the back. Apart from that, nothing else to see, and also, you do have an option to unload. So you have, actually, let's get something in there a sec, so I can sort of show that off, so. Fold it up, and then I'll get something in the hopper here. So, alright, one thing I've 
did lose initially, so we have the three point attacher as an option. That uh, does remove the ability to have something in the back that can be filled up. Because, yeah, I'm guessing that will obviously collide with the three point attacher. So let's go and demonstrate this a sec. So if we offload it, yeah, that will have collided with the three point attacher. So fair enough. But still, this has tension straps, so you can still use the three point attacher version to transport bells and whatever. And I will say, I do love the off roader, so I see the suspension at work at its finest. So let's travel up to top speed or at least close to it as possible, so yeah, get a proper look at the suspension at work, and I will say, handles well so yeah something like this to be used around the farm transport goods so things like a small chicken coop can be used with this little hopper on the rear or it's just more just get around the map or things like bowsers can be used for bowsers to transport water i will say it handles some of these bumps pretty all right so i've got a nice little section over here where I haven't got is all perfectly laid out as a test map or mod review map, should I say? Yeah, I'll say handles pretty well. Again, no complaints. Also, you do have lights, beacons, and all that other good stuff. Indicators left and right. And in cab, I'll say I do love to heat on your yellow seats and the mirrors. Yeah, they actually do work, they actually do function, and once again, no weird glitchiness. So yeah, let's go get rid of that sound of the indicators. So yeah, overall, nice little quality mod. Nice to see us back in FS25, and something I'll be using down the road for sure. But anyways, that is the John Deere XUV 865M by Giant Software. Next. Now for our penultimate mod of the day, we've got the John Deere 4755 by Giant Software. It is 22.14 megabytes of download, Lemsos on console, and it is good to see this returning to FS25. The 4755 is an awesome tractor at its budget and horsepower, so you'll find this under medium tractors. Go down to the bottom, so 74 grand, 109 horsepower, power shift transmission, 386 liters in fuel, travels at 21 miles an hour, so not the fastest. Weighs 8.2 tons, so in terms of configurations, all we got is just the wheels, and that's it. So you got your twins, rear twins, narrow twins, rear narrow twins, narrows all the way around, wide with weights, wide, medium with weights, medium wheel weights, and back to standard. But yeah, that's just also good to see in FS25, you've got small, medium, and large tires in the way. But yeah, so yeah, you've got Treborg, Michelin's, Continentals, Versteins, Mitas, BKTs, and again, I do love a BKT, so BKTs do have wides, wides with weight, so yeah, we love have a BKT twins, but what you see is what you get, so in cab, the iconic cab design, so oh, that sounds nice, basic horn. No other configurations or control, just cruising control. And off way we go. So it does have a three-point attacher at the front and rear. And yeah, there's something I'm going to be using. And actually, I'm going to be using on an upcoming Let's Play episode, hopefully at some point, on my Riverbend Rain series. Because our 74 grand, 190 horsepower. Compare that to what we've got base game-wise. That doesn't even touch mostly, so things like the Challenger and the White Series Tractor Echo stuff. Yeah, that's kind of the budget range. I've go up to 190 horsepower. Yeah, getting close to that price range, so yeah, 74,000 for 200 horsepower. By the end of the day, it's a John Deere, so I went to sacrifice that 10 horsepower to have a John Deere on the farm. And yeah, these are 9.8 tons, 24 miles an hour. Compare that to a slightly lighter at 1.2 tons lighter. But yeah, this is a real good goat of a tractor. 
Beacons shouldn't have any lights all the way around. Indicators as shown. Yeah, horn already shown off. But yeah, this is something I have missed. Once again, that's the giants is getting around to convert some of the popular stuff from FS22 base game as an FS25 mod. Yeah, something to be expected. But yeah, I'm glad they got around to it, and definitely this is a favourite for many, many folks, and this is something I do recommend highly. For a cheap John Deere tractor, then this is going to be the one for you. But anyways, that is John Deere 4755 by Giant Software. Next. Now for our final model of the day, and oh boy, we got the Case IH AFS Connect Magnum Series by Car Farms. 0.1 megabytes to download, so this is a very small size for a tractor. And it is 18 slots on console, goes down to 1. So first of all, before we get into looking to it, so do have the base game large tractor version. But down here we've got the mod version, so in terms of configuration, so you've got your 340 CVX drive, 374 horsepower, 418 horsepower, 435, and back that to 374. So the 374 is a CVT transmission. And as you go up to the power drive, that goes to a power shift. Wheel brands, very famous. You've got your 3 meter core broads or just a normal 3 meter tire. Core tracks broad and core tracks. And yeah, we're going to have things for Michelin, Connells, Mitas, BKT. Nice to see that. And also got a design for EU or US design. So I've just changed just a couple of my things, things like the indicators. And as far as I can gather, that is pretty much it in terms of what we've got here today. Looking at the front. Yeah, really it's just the rear indicators and that is it. Attachment is just going to be at the front. So you've got three point, 435 kilogram weight, 650, 980. And back to three point. Rim color, so got silver, black, white, and then that's the case IH gray. But yeah, so about all the boring stuff and that. So let's go into here. So yeah, we've got no doors or anything like that. We do have L1, L1, R1, left stick, left to right. So in cab, that will just pivot the chair as you see here. Apart from that, nothing else. So beacons, yes. Lights all the way around. Indicators left and right. And it's good to see this back in FS25. Yes, I know we've got the modded, well, sorry, the base game version, but Car Farms is an awesome modder, and I love all this mods in FS22. And I can't wait to see what he's going to bring to FS25. Things like his K9 stuff. And all of that, so but yeah, it's really have the good use of the physics. So things like the wet tires and all of our good stuff being fully utilized here. So we've got the case IH Magnum, and once again, we've still got that stupid like that's been popping up constantly in front of the mob review. So apologies on that, but yeah, just have a sense of scale. So get rid of the torch and third, third person. But yeah, you got that whole scaleness of it. That is absolutely huge. But yeah, so back in here, so yeah, the same price as the base game version. 474 to 435 horsepower. Speed of 33 miles an hour or 50 kilometers per hour. Depending on what you're going for, so or sorry, 31 miles an hour or 43 kilometers. Not sure what it's saying. 33 on the mod hub there, so apologize for that little correction. But yeah, gotta love this. This is an awesome bit of kit. And yeah, no complaints whatsoever. So let's go and test this, see how it handles some rough terrain over here. So, oh, look at that. Look at that suspension just pivot. Yeah. A bit here. It's got power to get yourself out of situation, and also, yeah, it's got the flexibility to maneuver and navigate. So, 
This is good to see returned by Carl Farms, and as I said, I can't wait to see what other things he's going to bring to the game. And that is it for over mod. So, yeah, it's going to be coming out on the 27th, the day after most being released. So, yeah, long story short, it's just been a bit of a rough sleep pattern the last couple of days. So, obviously, come the evening when most started to drop whilst I'm watching and moderate Mississippi's stream. Yeah, I was absolutely tired, absolutely shattered, so got things set up initially, but then, yeah, I was just too tired, too out of it to be coherent and record. But anyway, so this is all the new mods for the 26th of November 2024. As always, if you're going to like, then please leave a like, it'd be much appreciated. If you want to subscribe to the channel for more daily and weekly FS content, including mod reviews, map tours, and let's plays, and Everything else you need to know about FS25. If you want to comment down below, then please do. Any feedback is good. If you want to share it, then please be my guest. But for you to do, hope you have a nice day, and this will be Farmer Envoy Stream. And I'll see you all very soon.